So we're back to our game. There really isn't much going on here. So let's add an item. So this is our editor. This is, this is where we left it off from the last tutorial. Uh, we're going to go to the environment and let's add an item by going to item types and then click on add new. Here you can choose the type of the item that you want to add. We're going to add a ranged weapon. You can also choose what the weapon is going to look like. So we are going to go ahead and choose. Let's choose a shotgun sprite. All right. And then if I try to save it, it's going to ask me, oh, that I haven't chosen a, a projectile yet. So we're going to add a projectile as well. And uh, for the projectile, I'm going to choose a, you know what? Let's try to choose one that is not destroyed and uh, that one that collides with the units. So it's, it's going to be a shotgun that shoots fish. Why don't we do that? So it's a fish shooting shotgun. I'm going to make it so it fires it. Actually, it fires the, the fish pretty rapidly. So it says 200 for the fire rate. This basically means it shoots one bullet every 200 milliseconds. So it will shoot five every one second. Oh, we forgot to name the item fish gun. Save. And then we're going to go to the scripts. So remember this script from the last tutorial uh, that gets executed when the player joins the game. So currently we're only giving fist to the unit, but we're going to add a new action. So by typing give, you'll see that there's a choice for giving a new item to a unit. So choose that. Um, and we'll, we'll fill up the, the variables here. So we have three undefined variables here. The first one is create a new undefined. So uh, we're going to choose the fish gun under constant with the quantity of one, or sorry, let's go with 100 and give it to the last created unit. All right, there you go. So now we're giving fist and the fish gun to the last created unit. Let's go ahead and republish the game and see what it looks like. OK, and you can see that we have a fish gun in the inventory slot, too. So I'll press number two to change my weapon. And look at that. It's shooting fish. Who would have thought, huh? The fish doesn't get destroyed right away. It does eventually get destroyed um, because they have um, different lifespans. Uh, let's take a look. So let's look at the projectile that we just created. So we have a, a new projectile uh, for fish. So let's change the name of the projectile as fish. And you can see that it has a lifespan of five seconds. So that's why, whoa, there are other players here. Um, so that's why when you fire a fish, after about five seconds, they disappear. All right. So that's how you make a... Uh, Fish gun. Now, let's make another weapon. We're going to make uh, another ranged weapon. And this time, we're going to create a fish that shoots flame. So, fish flame thrower. All right. Just like last time, it will. I don't think we want something that's destroyed on collision. So, we actually want. Uh, the same um, projectile type as the last time, uh, where it does not get destroyed on collision. And we'll choose flame as animation. OK, so we are going to wait. I need to give the weapon to right. So I'm going to copy and paste. OK, and then instead of fish gun, I will choose fish flamethrower. OK, so now we are giving three items to the unit when the player joins the game. So we're going to go ahead and republish again. All right, now we got three weapons. So let's choose. Whoa, OK, we got our fish flamethrower. So uh, one thing I want to do is that I don't want them to collide with each other. In fact, I don't want those flames to collide with anything. Also, another thing is um, I think they travel a bit too far and fast. So I'll try to slow down the bullet as well. So we're going to go to environment and we'll choose the projectile types. 
and here's the flame that we just created. Uh, we're going to just change the name. And the next thing I'm going to do is to change the body type. Okay. And I'll make it so it's a sensor body type. So what sensor does is sensors do not collide with anything. And we'll also make it so it's linear damping is a bit higher. Linear damping means how fast the entities are slowing down. So I think those two properties should do the justice. So let's go ahead and republish the game. All right. And yeah, you can now see that they're, they're, collide, they're overlapping with each other and the flames don't travel as far uh, as we were last time. I do feel that they, um, they stay, the lifespan is a bit too long. So I'll shorten that down. So we'll go to general. Okay, let's try that. All right. Yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah, it just disappears after a second. So, all right, so we got a flamethrower and a fish gun. So that covers the basic of how to create a new weapon in the game. Um, as you saw, there's multiple kinds of weapons that you can create, not just the ranged weapons, but melee or consumables. We'll cover those in the later chapters. But for now, if you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments. I do read them. All right. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.